All right, so what is up guys? In the last video, we were actually able to show all of the habits that we created in the Recycler view. And in this video, we are going to take care of actually editing them. So if we type something in there, it will display all the information that came from that habit. And then when we click on confirm, it will update that habit accordingly. So to get started, we should go to our update habit item fragment, and you will find that in your fragments folder. And the first thing to do is to extend the time picker dialog. So right after we inflate that layout, we need to add a comma and write time picker dialog dot on time set listener. And then we also need to extend the date picker dialog dot on set date listener. And then let's just implement those members so we don't have to think about it later. And this fragment is going to have a lot of the same functionality that our create habit item fragment had. So we are just gonna go ahead and copy and paste several blocks of code from there. And the first one we are going to copy and paste from is this one right here, because we need all of these variables in our update habit item. And we're just gonna set that right above on view created. And that should take care of the most part of it. And we only have to add one more value to this list of variables. And that's gonna be a private value of arguments, which is gonna be by nav args. And that's going to be of type update habit item args. And this is a class that the navigational component built for us as soon as we clicked on rebuild. So it's something that is provided with our navigation and this will take all the arguments that we sent from our recycler view and retrieve them inside here. And of course, remember to import nav args. And those are all of the values and variables that we need for this fragment. So next we can go on our on view created. And the first thing we want to do inside here is get our habit view model. And that's going to equal a view model provider with the owner referring to this. And we are going to get as always our habit view model class. And we're gonna have a lot of the same functions from our create habit item fragment. So just bear with me, we're just gonna type this in and probably just copy and paste it later. So we're gonna get the drawable selected, call it as a function. Then we're gonna create one that says pick date and time. And it's important that you name them exactly the same as you did in your create habit item. Otherwise you can just of course copy and paste them. Then we're gonna get a button and it's gonna be confirm. And it's important that you select the update version this time because this will be from our update XML. And that is the way we will differentiate it from our create habit item XML. And inside here, we just want to update the habit. Then we also have to set the options menu to true and that will take care of everything we need to do on our on view created. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is take care of the drawable selected function. So to do that, we're just gonna go inside our create habit and we are gonna copy and paste this one here and paste it right below the on view created. And we can't just leave it like this because these are referring views that have not been inflated by this fragment. So what we have to do is replace everything with the updated keyword. So as you can see, IV fast food selected underscore update. And be sure to do this for all of them. So now that we have successfully updated the drawable selected function, we can collapse that so it doesn't take so much space in our view. And then we can go ahead and take care of these overridden functions down here and take care of our pick date and time function. So let's go to our create habit item. And as you can see, we have all of these here and it's a lot easier just to copy all of them, I guess, and just override these ones. And we'll have exactly the same calendar selection function as from earlier, but of course we need to change a few of these values so it will actually function correctly. So the first thing I wanna do is move the on date set next to the on time set just to make things just to make things easier to understand. And as you might have guessed it, we have a TV underscore date selected and a TV underscore time selected. But these refer to a different XML layout. So we just need to change this to the update version. Then we can go back to our create habit item and we can copy the pick date and time function so we can actually call these so we can actually call these functions. And we're just gonna place that also under the drawable selected function. And we need to change this to update and change this one down here also to update. And now it should do exactly the same thing that it was able to do in the create habit item fragment. And right at the bottom, so I don't forget later, we are going to create an options menu. And to do this, we're just gonna call on create options menu. And we just need to call inflator dot inflate. And we need to pass in our dot menu dot single item. And we need to pass in menu over here. Then we need to add on options 
item selected and we're going to save this super call so we're just going to leave it down here and we're going to type in when item dot item id equals r dot id dot nav underscore delete then we are going to call our special function which we will create in just a moment and that will be called the delete habit function and it's going to take the arguments dot selected habits as an argument and finally at the bottom we are going to create this function so we don't forget about it so private function delete habit of course it's going to take a habit of type habit as a parameter and it's going to call our habit view model dot delete habit function and then we just need to pass in the habit we want to delete and we can create a toast for the user which will take the context as the context and it will say habit successfully deleted with an exclamation mark. And then we will call find nav controller, which is going to navigate us from this update habit item fragment to our habit list. So here we have the action update habit item to habit list and make sure you pick the correct one or the program will crash. And right before we move on to fixing this update habit function, I forgot to add two lines of code which will retrieve the data that we sent from our recycler view. And we're just gonna type it right under the habit view model. So what we are going to type is et underscore habit title update dot set text. And it's gonna take the arguments that were sent through the recycler view and place it inside. So this will be arguments selected habit dot habit title. And we are going to do the same thing for the description. So et underscore habit description update dot set text and we are going to pass in the arguments selected habit dot habit underscore description and that will just place in the text that was already there into the edit texts so that the user does not have to rewrite them then we can go ahead and complete this fragment by creating the final function which is going to be the update habit function and inside here the first thing we want to do is set the title to et underscore habit title update dot text to string. Then we're going to do the same thing for the description. So et underscore habit description underscore update dot text to string. And the timestamp is going to equal the clean date and the clean time. Then for the next line of code, we're just going to go to our create habit item fragment and we're going to copy this if check. So we're just going to copy and paste that inside here and make a block. And then we're gonna type in value habit is going to equal a habit. And the first argument we're gonna pass in, which is the ID, is going to take the current ID, which is going to be args.selectedHabit.id. And then we're gonna just pass in the title, the description, the timestamp, and finally the drawable selected. Then we need to call habits view model dot update habit and pass in the habit that we have just created. Now let's make a toast that says, well, first takes the context as the context, and then it says habits updated successfully with an exclamation mark. And then all we have to do is navigate the user back to the habit list. So we'll type in find nav controller dot navigate, and it's gonna take an action. So r dot id dot action update habit item to habit list. And if anything goes wrong, we're just gonna create a toast which will take the context as the context, and it will say, please fill all the fields. And after having written that, we can go ahead and click on run. So let's just test it out to make sure everything works nicely. And as you can see, we have two items from earlier. So let's pretend we want to change this because we messed up, we wrote HH. We will click on it. And as you can see, we have retrieved the text from the item and inserted it into our edit text. So let's change this to eat salad or something and then write salad is cool and pick a date and we will start eating salad let's say a few months from now so let's pick the first of april and click on ok and we will start eating salad at one in the morning or 101 and we will add this t symbol because we like t and click on confirm and now as you can see it has updated the entry it will update when we started it it will update the description and it will tell us when we will start eating salad. And now let's also pretend we don't like this habit right here. We can just go to it. And as you can see, we have a rubbish bin. And as soon as we click on that rubbish bin, it will get rid of the habit for us. And in the next video, we will just be creating the intro screen that will tell the user how to use the app. And with that, we will have finished the entire app. So this is great. We are almost done. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. See you.